हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल ई टेक्नोलॉजीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू मेक यूर सेल्फ प्रोडक्टिव सो फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट अस फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग एंड समर ट्रेनिंग फॉर अल्ट्रा प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड पीक परफॉर्मेंस Like we cannot compact inspect that page in uh, mobile. 
While I'm making the, if I'm making any project in HTML CSS, I cannot inspect that in myself. But with the help of Bootstrap, I can inspect the project in my CSS. Okay, so you are doing a project that requires collecting student data, right? Mm -hmm. So how how do you collect the student data? How do you validate the inputs? And how do you save it inside the database? I mean, I'm asking about the student you save, now. Yes. If TCS asks for PHP developer, you will provide them a PHP developer. So you must have some information and story about PHP developer, right? Yes. So how do you gather all the information from the user? Yeah, and how do you validate the data? And how do you store it inside the database? Yes. In the project, I have made one uh, login form. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, if any, any student want to uh, like link our website, mm -hmm. we must require his username, ID, mobile number, his uploaded resume. Firstly, mm -hmm. we will fill all the information, then we can go to our website. Other, then if we can fill all the information like his name, his mobile number, his CV, we can upload, then it automatically goes to PHP. So how do you make sure that user has entered all the information, valid data, how do you validate those data? How I can validate them? Yeah, suppose if I did not enter my mobile number, so how? It can show the error message, please fill this, I can use the terms in the, uh, like, uh, So how can, you, how can you check the phone number is empty, how, how, how do you check? So I have made one condition, if person did not fill his mobile number, then it can show the error message, please fill this field, then you can log in, otherwise you cannot log in. Okay, and how do you save all those data that user entered on the if form? If user can enter all the, fill all the requirements, all the options he can fill, then it automatically go to our PHP, I can connect to our MySQL server, then it automatically, all the data goes to MySQL server. So how do you connect to MySQL and how do you save all those data that comes from uh, browser forms? So how do you connect MySQL? MySQL connect, connect to MySQL. Uh, it's a function name or something else? It's a database. You can store the data. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to connect our form, mm -hmm. like my form, the login page, and I want to connect that page with my SQL, then I can use the code in SQL server to automatically connect. Okay. So, what, what was your favorite subject in your DCA and CA? Actually, I am mostly working in design work part. Uh, so you are more interested in design. Okay. But whatever you explain regarding bootstrap are not exactly true. So uh, do you want to be a developer or do you want to be a designer? Okay. So both are a little bit different. Designer is a domain, development is a domain. So, if you have any of interest, you can go there. If you have any development interest, then you can go there. If you have any interest in designing, then you can go there. HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Photoshop, you can learn from that domain. Do you have any other questions? It's all from our side. Uh, you have to wait for our written test. If you want to participate in written test, so you just need to wait for, I think, half an hour. Yeah, it won't take long. It will be only for 20 to 30 minutes, the written test. You need to write a computer program using any computer language. So just wait outside for a few more minutes, and we will ask you to participate in the written test. Okay, Salani? Yes. Thanks for your time.